Hello lovely people, welcome to another destination tour. Today we're in the beautiful town of Palma, with beautiful weather, middle of winter, but you don't really notice. Um, today we'll be showing you a little bit of Paseo Maritimo, a four kilometer stretch of uh, sea promenade that stretches all the way from uh, Portichol all the way up to Porto P. A lot of things to see here, uh, nightlife, beautiful ports and, and beautiful yachts, and great restaurants and a lot of activities to show. So. Come with us and we'll give you a taste of what it's like here. So one of the first things you see uh, when you come into Palma is this beautiful entrance into the city with the biggest, one of the biggest cathedrals in Europe in the background. Standing right next to the sea, you have this big strip of uh, bicycle path and, um, and pavement walk where a lot of people start their run in the evening and go all the way down to Portichol and it's a really beautiful area to, to do your sport and just right next to one of the most beautiful things in Europe. So let's have a little walk around and we'll show you a bit more. So back in the day you used to have these uh, street trams that ran through Palmas coming from this um, the port kind of trade area and they, they built those away and they put buses um, which you know it works great but now they're going to rebuild a tram that goes all the way from Palma directly to the airport, which will take a lot less time than one of the buses that run from the airport to town. So the Paseo Maritimo over the years has been modernizing quite a bit here and there. And what it's behind me here is quite an exclusive restaurant overlooking the port, um, which has just been built here in the last few years. And um, there's a few more movements going on along the promenade where they're really going to plant a lot more trees and make a really beautiful walkway for people to walk through on the outskirts of Palma. So let's have a look over there and see if they're already starting with the construction work. So we just passed La Lonja, a beautiful old town district of Palma, and uh, we're just going towards Santa Catalina, another great area for going out at night or having a, a bite to eat at one of the local restaurants. On the way, we're just walking past the presidential office and the maritime consulate for Mallorca, a very important building here on the island and a very important um, thing for the locals and in a very beautiful area of town. Nice. So behind me is one of the uh, nicest restaurants along the promenade, um, a very renowned restaurant called El Pesquero, where the people from the yachts can just come down and you can really eat great fish there. And we'll show you a few other restaurants, but definitely a good tip, this one behind me. So just before we go past Santa Catalina, along this beautiful, big, old, historic wall, there's a modern museum called Espaluard, and it's one of the areas that mainly focused on with renovation and modernization, and it's a, it's a great area for looking out for properties too. And in terms of properties, we'll tell you a little bit about that along the main promenade of Maritimo, just in a moment. So as well as the um, rebuilding of the boulevard and the modernization of this strip here, you have a bunch of interesting projects like the Tito's, um, the renowned club just down here. Um, it's changed the owner and they're going to they're renew it and build something new out of it, which is definitely going to be something interesting to look at in the future. And as well as that, we have a bunch of interesting new builds in terms of apartments here. And if you're interested in that, please let us know and we'll, we'll be glad to give you a viewing or give you some details about that. So now we'll, uh, we'll head down and we'll have a little bit more of a look along this uh, promenade and see what's going on down there. So just behind me there's another port uh, restaurant where you can sit on the facade of all these masts and it's just a really nice vibe to sit down here. Um, to my right they're doing some building work, construction work and I went jogging here just, the, just yesterday and I was jogging along here but now it's all gone because they're, they're already starting the, the construction work for building a bigger um, pedestrian walk and a bigger area for cyclists. So this area is going to kind of transform a little bit over the next few years and make a better quality of life and improve, uh, improve the lifestyle for cyclists and sport enthusiasts going along from Palmer's port area all the way along to the cathedral and to Portichol. So just a few statistics in terms of the uh, construction work that's happening here along the promenade of Maritimo. 
Um, they're investing more than 30 million over the next few years in planting over 6,000 new trees in improving the, the facade and the, um, the look of this area. And it should all happen around um, until the year of 2024, which will see the big difference. Yeah, so a few things to say about this area where the strip really begins. Um, you have a few well-known hotels here, the Costa Azul, the Melia Hotel, and just behind us, the biggest auditorium in Palma. If you want to go and look at the, the opera or look at a play or a musical, this is one of the best places to, to go for that. And this strip here really opens up at nighttime with all of the local bars and cafes and uh, people walking past just right next to the port. So coming to the end of this little tour, um, we're just at the, the end of the strip of Paseo Maritimo. Just above us, an area called Gomila, which is also a very interesting place with a lot of transformation happening and modernization. Um, a few important things still would mention. At the end of this strip, there's a big shopping center called Porto P. Um, it was one of the first shopping centers that really came to the island in the American style, where you can find all kinds of shops in one place. Um, same direction is the German Embassy, the Italian Embassy and the American Embassy. Um, the British Embassy is just a bit further uptown, but um, in this direction you have those three in case your passport gets, uh, gets lost on your, on your trip here. So just at the, the end of the port here, um, you have this big area where all the cruise liners and, and ferries arrive from all corners of the world. And it's uh, like the airport for, for ships. A lot of tourists coming from this direction and, and entering the town from here yeah. and looking at all the beautiful things that you can, that you can do in the town. Yeah. So that's about it from us uh, today with this area tour. I really hope you enjoyed it and that I was able to bring a bit of an insight and experience of uh, different things that you can do here. Please let us know if you like the video and uh, give your feedback. We'd love to know and we'll keep you updated on the transformation here on Paseo Maritimo. All the best.